Hi there, my name is Dara Oladapo. I'm a technology evangelist with Microsoft. Uh, today I want to show us uh, how to upload a website uh, using the published profile settings. Uh, so what I'll just quickly do is I'll, I'll go to the new, I'll just create a web app quickly, an empty web app. So um, I'll go to web and mobile from new. Then I'll click web app, then I set the name of the web app I want to create. So uh, what I wait for that? Okay. So I'll let's call that hello, hello publish, right? Okay, that works. So I'll create the website. So it's deploying. Uh, so while that works, I've quickly created uh, a simple HTML page using Bootstrap, um, Visual Studio Code. But what I'll do, I'll go to my Windows Explorer, then I go to uh, my document where I have it saved. That's Hello Azure. Then I open a web metrics that my favorite uh, uh, free coding web coding application. So I open the web metrics. I guess the deployment should almost be done in a bit. So uh, web metrics opening up for me. So I just have to wait for that. This takes just a couple of seconds to minute. Okay. Okay, so that web app is done. So what I'll do now is I'll download the published profile settings of the web app. So uh, up here you can see the Different things you can do with the website, settings, tools, browse the website, stop the web app, restart it, delete, uh, get the published profile, which is uh, what we're going to do exactly. So I'll click that and then download the published profile uh, for me. Uh, so that is downloaded uh, to my system now. So when I go to my download folder, I can find... Uh, I think it will be called uh, hello publish uh, dot publish settings. So I'll go to my download folder and find that. So that's hello. So I have a lot of downloads on my system. So that's uh, hello publish. Yes, I found it. Hello publish. So what I'll do, our web metrics is opened already. So that is my index.html. Let's just view the page to see how it looks like. So I'll run it my browser okay so this is just a simple page uh, I just created to quickly with bootstrap so what I'll do is I'll click publish from here um, okay so um, I missed that so uh, I'll go to the publish tab over here. Uh, when I click that, it tell me either I want to create a new site. If you have a paid subscription, you can do this. Uh, choose an exciting site from Microsoft Azure or import the publish profile, which is exactly what I just did. So I'll look for a low publish, a publish setting from wherever I downloaded it to. So I'll click open. Then every deployment credential I need is there, so I will just to be sure it works. I'll validate uh, the deployment uh, credentials and then it should show me it's all right in a few seconds from now. So it's connected successfully, so I can save this profile and then I'll follow the prompt that come up on the screen to upload the web app. So um still verifying and setting things up for me behind the screens okay so that is done i'll click continue then uh these are the files on my web app the css the javascript and all that so i'll click continue and then it shows me the status of the website right over here that's publishing the website so to upload the files in a couple of seconds it should be done because a very large website so it's complete. So I'll click that link and uh, it should show up for me. So you can see the URL of Azure Publisher, Azure Websites.net. So uh, I think I'm done.
this tutorial so for more information for more lessons for more blog posts you can go to my website or geekwithlife.com to see things about students as your development and exactly new offers from Microsoft for students that I have to share with you thank you very much